that's why the most functional blood is happening at the end of abduction and flexion, particularly abduction where you get that inferior slide of the clavicle. Uh, it is a uh, convex or concave in this plane. Um, some people will do anterior glides, but I don't anymore. I just find it kind of useless. Um, so we're just going to teach you the inferior glide because there's a technique for treatment later. We're going to use that as a finishing technique for range of motion. Excuse me, I'm going to All right, so we're going to use, I'm going to use this, this side, this um, right side of the SC joint. First thing you got to do is palpate the joint line. You're going to see that if, if you look at my finger, it's going to be running in that direction. So it's not vertical. It doesn't go straight up and down. It comes in an angle. So I'm going to need to mimic that with my hand position. This one, I'm going to talk to my patient first because this is one that I am going to have to reach across the neck to get to it. So if you have a watch on, you take the watch off. I, I also might, I might also, I also might, I might also. I don't speak, so just say what you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably going to rotate the head towards the side, towards that side just a little bit. What that does, it takes tension off that certain side of mastoid. You'll see this one kind of get taut a little bit. So I'm going to take a little tension off that muscle. And that also frees this up a little bit so I don't hit it right in the face as I'm coming in. I'm going to tell I'm going to reach across right in here to get to this bone. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. I'm going to use my... This part of my bone right there, the hypo... I'm just going to get the picture. The hypothenar eminence. And I'm going, to push it, I'm going to put it right on the clavicle. I don't really have a lot of stabilization here because the body weight is holding the sternum down. And, and if I did have to stabilize the sternum, I'd have to grab right here. That just doesn't make good sense. Okay? Fingertips up, gentlemen. Fingertips up on this one. <laughs> 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 It's up, come right in here. My form again is in the direction of the glide, and I'm just going to be pushing towards that, that hip because I've identified the direction of that joint angle, the joint line in that direction. So, in clear glide, it's going to be here. I'm going to change it. Oh, I like that better. Right there. So, I'm pushing on the top superior edge of the clavicle, and I'm pushing it in here in the same direction as the joint line. Okay? If it's going to be assessment, you want to take up a slack right to the end and release it and assess it all the way to the end. All right? <coughs> Just warning you're going to feel a little pressure because you're going to push right down those muscle bellies to do that. And that turn of the head helps to release some of that tension in those muscles. Okay? But to the other side, we never turn our head this way to do it. To come out there. 